It was a lousy night in London seven nights ago for the former Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn. Zayn looking to enact some revenge over Dirty Dominic Mysterio. A multiple month issue coming to a head last week in the OVO Arena Wembley. Unfortunately, Sami Zayn was met with the typical numbers game of the Judgment Day. And Dominic Mysterio living up to his nickname of Dirty, capturing the Intercontinental Championship in a stolen victory over Sami Zayn. Zane. Well, Zane is looking for a pound of flesh here tonight in Green Bay. One of the men courtesy of taking that championship away from him last week. One half of the World Tag Team Champions, Damian Priest, takes on Sami Zayn later tonight here on Monday Night Raw. The Judgment Day certainly holds dominion and Sami Zayn is coming for some revenge. We welcome you to Monday Night Raw. We are live in Green Bay, Wisconsin. And speaking of some revenge, the EST, Bianca Belair, kicking things off this week. And Bianca has her own score to settle against the buff Barbie, Tiffany Stratton. It was several weeks ago that Tiffany Stratton qualified for the Money in the Bank ladder match by defeating Bianca Belair via countout, something that has now multiple times over the last few months been costly to Bianca Belair and championship opportunities. Well, Bianca getting up dusted herself off back on her own two feet and she wants to settle that score with the center of the universe Tiffany Stratton out to prove that Tiffany stole a victory last month and that Bianca is looking for her own revenge here in Green Bay Tiffany Stratton of course went on to the Money in the Bank ladder match just nine nights ago the victors did not go to the spoils for the way of Tiffany Stratton it was Cora Jade who took down the briefcase We'll be taking a closer look at Cora Jade and her rise later tonight, but right here, right now, Tiffany Stratton approaches the squared circle. And from Cryer Lake, Minnesota, Tiffany Stratton! Well, no matter if it's been a victory or defeat, nobody can deny, nobody can deny I should say, the talents of the center of the universe, Tiffany Stratton. She has certainly been making some waves over the last few months on Raw after a rocky first few months on the main roster. Tiffany Stratton competed in Elimination Chamber earlier this year, Money in the Bank just less than two weeks ago. She has challenged for the WWE Women's Championship, but she has yet to really prove herself when the stakes are as high as they could be. A victory over Bianca Belair via countout is one thing, but a victory by pinning her shoulders to the canvas, a whole different story. That is what Bianca Belair is looking to avoid tonight. We cannot discount Tiffany Stratton. All the capabilities to be able to knock down somebody the superstar caliber of Bianca Belair. It's certainly been a frustrating few months for Bianca. Really with steam rolling over some competition after being drafted over to Raw from Friday Night SmackDown. Then ran into the Nightmare Rhea Ripley. And Rhea Ripley retained her women's championship in Bianca's hometown of Knoxville, Tennessee two months ago via countout. Looks as if some of the women in the locker room do not want to mess with Bianca Belair in deep waters. Taking an easy way out just to try to escape a battle with the EST. Former champion in her own right, one of the toughest, one of the roughest, one of the strongest in the entire WWE. Bianca Belair looking to get back in championship contention. Money in the Bank was certainly a way to do so, but unfortunately for her, Tiffany Stratton did not allow qualification. And look at Tiffany Stratton right now, not allowing Bianca Belair to get going and implore any, any of that power, or even that fast-paced style that Bianca can institute at times. However, Tiffany Stratton better watch where she's landing. Bianca Belair and Tiffany Stratton kicking things off in this rematch on Raw tonight. Still to come, Piper Niven, who had her hands dirty last week, laying out Bianca Belair in the middle of London, England, going one-on-one -on -one with Bailey. These two women met two months ago on Velocity. Bailey picked up the victory, but Piper Niven continues to be more aggressive as of late. Bailey looking to settle the score on behalf of Becky Lynch later tonight here on Raw. It's Bianca Belair starting to rev up the engines here in your opening matchup. 
As we discussed, still to come in your main event, Sami Zayn obviously frustrated after losing the Intercontinental Championship last week. Damian Priest certainly had his hands in aiding Dominic Mysterio, leaving London, England with the gold. Sami Zayn's only one man. He can't fight all the Judgment Day at one time, but he can certainly try to dwindle their numbers. He's going to go one-on-one -on -one with one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Damian Priest, later tonight in your main event. Right now, Bianca Belair has got Tiffany almost up against the ropes. Tiffany Stratton's got to try to shake this off right now. This is what Stratton was trying to avoid in the early moments. Bianca Belair dictated the pace of this contest. Tiffany knows firsthand just how tough Bianca is as they battled in that Money in the Bank qualifier last month here on Raw. Tiffany Stratton looking to put this thing away. Little victory roll out of the corner. And Bianca Belair nowhere near the ropes. If Tiffany Stratton went for a pinfall right now, she just might get it. But again, Tiffany knows firsthand just how tough Bianca Belair can be and just how much punishment she is able to survive. We'll see if Bianca's threshold is any more or less tonight as the center of the universe could be looking for the prettiest mood so ever. Nobody to be home. Bianca Belair, schoolgirl. Not to be was a pinfall that time, but Bianca getting out of the way. Tiffany Strat with the crash landing. Trying to keep the momentum going. You got to give her credit. That is some toughness out of a former NXT women's champion right there. Bianca Belair thought she had a window of opportunity. Tiffany slammed it shut with emphatic force. Dare I say, Stratton has been the aggressor when it mattered most of this matchup. Bianca Belair once again is finding herself in an underdog position. Nice counter by the EST. Never count her out. She never quits. Tiffany going for a ride face first on the canvas. That's going to mess up that pretty face of the buff Barbie. And it almost got the three count, but Tiffany Stratton still alive here in Green Bay. Bianca Belair desperate for a victory tonight. Coming up short one way or another to become the WWE Women's Champion not once but twice, first in the month of May, then in the month of June. And then an opportunity arising to qualify for Money in the Bank. That victory went to Tiffany Stratton. Stratton may not have been victorious, but she had a chance that Bianca Belair was not afforded. And that is what Bianca Belair and the story she is trying to change tonight. Crash landing for Bianca moments ago. Got to watch yourself on those high risk maneuvers. They don't call them high risk for no reason. Bianca Belair up against the corner and Tiffany Stratton looking to rearrange the face of Bianca with a pair of boots. Tiffany Stratton has shown some intestinal fortitude as well throughout her Monday Night Raw run, and especially over the last few months. No matter, if it's, no matter if it's been victory or defeat, Tiffany Stratton continues to impress off the top with a swanton bomb. And that could do it. But maybe not just yet. Bianca Belair wants this victory more than she needs breath in her lungs. Stratton, not afraid to take things to the air. Olympic level gymnastics before her time here in the WWE. Certainly pays her dividends inside of the ring and again crushing Bianca with a high risk maneuver. But the EST is still alive. Some great appreciation from this Green Bay capacity audience being shown for Tiffany Stratton and Bianca Belair as they continue to fight tooth and nail between the ropes. Stratton heading back to the top, could be looking for a prettiest moon salt ever. Bianca gets to her feet. Tiffany delivers a missile drop kick, delivered like a sniper. And Bianca with a much needed reversal. Trying to cut Stratton in half with the spear. So much opportunity on the horizon in the women's division. Women's tag team champions to be crowned a week from Saturday in Minneapolis, Minnesota at Saturday night's main event. The Queen of the Ring approaching this September. Bianca and Tiffany know that victories equal opportunities. Both women looking to climb the ladder of success here on Raw. 
Much needed reversal by Bianca a few moments ago off that spear. And credit where credit's due. She has continued to keep her foot on the gas pedal. Tiffany Stratton was starting to come unglued. You saw some frustration, and that may have costed her. Bianca Belair starting to stack the offense, trying to play catch up after Tiffany delivered some high profile maneuvers for several of minutes. Massive Saido there by the EST. And could be looking to bring this matchup to a screeching halt. KOD to the buff Barbie. Bianca Belair did not come to fall short right in front of the finish line. Bianca righting the wrong of the Money in the Bank qualifier. Well, the opportunity last month may have gone the way of Tiffany Stratton, but victory tonight goes the way of the EST. Bianca climbing the ranks here on Raw. A huge victory as we kick things off in Green Bay, Wisconsin. But as we mentioned, a week from Saturday, we're going to be coming to you live from Minneapolis, Minnesota on the road to SummerSlam. A pit stop to be made at Saturday night's main event. New women's tag team champions will be crowned when one team from Raw meets one team from SmackDown. Who is going to qualify? Well, we're going to start finding out next Monday from the Allstate Arena in Chicago. Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville take on former women's tag team champions Katana Chance and Caden Carter. The winner of this matchup moves on to Saturday night's main event to contest against a team from Friday Night SmackDown. Who's it going to be? We find out in Chicago. Can't get enough universe mode? Well, now is your chance to secure a backstage pass to more universe than ever before. Become a Noah Nation Gaming Channel member and gain entry into monthly house shows that directly affect your episodic viewing of universe mode. Also, take a peek behind the curtain with behind the scenes updates, exclusive content to see how universe mode is brought to life each and every week. Hit the join button down below, become a Backstage Pass channel member, and get your front row seat to more universe than ever before. Hit the join button down below or the link up in the cars. Become a Nodation Gaming channel member. Gain access to the WWE Live event going down on Saturday night, August the 10th on the road to SummerSlam and so much more behind the scenes content. We are back inside Green Bay, Wisconsin here on Monday Night Raw. And Die Jack, hot off the heels of a victory over LA Knight at Money in the Bank is in action, looking to keep that momentum at an all-time high. Certainly in a pissed-off mood, if I ever seen one. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Worcester, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 270 pounds. Well, let us take a look at Saturday night, July 13th. Dijak one-on-one -on -one with LA Knight in the middle of the O2 Arena. LA Knight was out for some revenge. Dijak was out to use LA Knight as a stepping stone for his Raw career. And as you can see, the back half of this matchup, LA Knight down at ringside, referee John Cone's back turned, Dijak taking advantage, exposing three out of the four turnbuckles, using them as a weapon to keep down LA Knight. Had to feast your eyes on top of that. Dijak stealing a victory right out underneath the nose of the Megastar. But can he keep the momentum up as he's running into a colossal roadblock? Notice Big Brunson Reed. And his opponent from Black Forest, South Australia, weighing in at 330 pounds. Well, Dijak may be having a feather in his cap tonight after that victory over LA Knight at Money in the Bank. Brunson Reed, on the other hand, has got to be hungry for victory. Falling short to the WWE Champion CM Punk last Monday, 
Big Bronson Reed is looking for that solidifying victory to take him to the next level here on Monday nights. I don't know if Dijak's going to be able to pull the same tricks. Bronson Reed's going to have to have eyes in the back of his head tonight. Bronson Reed and LA Knight, two very different competitors. Let's see if Dijak has what it takes to keep down this colossal being. Nonetheless, we continue forward here on Monday Night Raw as Dijak again, as we mentioned, plan to use LA Knight as a stepping stone in his Monday Night Raw career. Was drafted to the red brand back in April when victories were not going his way. He finally snapped, if you will, took out LA Knight in the parking garage. LA Knight came back for his revenge, which I think is exactly what Dijak wanted. Wanted LA Knight to see red, wanted him to be frustrated and angry. Dijak wanted to use that against him. And pull out an underhanded tactic at Money in the Bank to secure a victory over one of Monday Night Raw's hottest stars. But Dijak just needs to keep that momentum at an all-time high, and he's going to continue to find the success that he so desires. Step up over the top rope. That's one way to keep Big Brunson Reed off his feet momentarily. Bronson Reed has only seen a few blemishes since joining the red brand as well. Making his return to the WWE back in the month of March, mowing over superstars left and right. The only names that have kept down Bronson Reed or CM Punk, Kevin Owens, and Seth Rollins. And that's a pretty elite list of talent, especially here on Raw. Bronson Reed not looking to fall short tonight on the top rope, which isn't... Too uncharacteristic for the big man. Dropping an axe hammer to the outside. Dijak certainly one tall superstar. Brunson Reed certainly one big superstar, but do not let the size of these two individuals fool you. Tons of athleticism on both sides of the ring, and both men looking to use it to their advantage. Hopefully to sustain a victory here tonight. This fight continuing on the outside. Brunson Reed could be looking for a Death Valley driver. Dijak creating a little distance and dare I say much needed. Bronson Reed is uh, about to put a nail in the coffin of this matchup. He so had his way. You got to give credit to Dijak. You may not like the tactics that he used to defeat LA Knight. Back at Money in the Bank. But talented as all hell. Former World Tag Team Champion was drafted to SmackDown last year. Unfortunately, an injury kept him on the shelf when he returned. His contract had expired. Went back down to NXT. Reinvigorated his career. Came to roll, and although it took a couple of months, has found his footing again. Now it's all on Dijak's hands to try to keep it up. Big Bronson Reed, however, not looking to be another stepping stone. These two hungry individuals jock for position here on Monday Night Raw. Dijak better get out of harm's way because Bronson Reed is not afraid to use his own body as a walking weapon. Big ol' senton, but Dijak able to survive momentarily. And another big boot. Dijak really using those big lariats and those boots, those leverage maneuvers to keep... Oh, wait a minute here. That is the music of one megastar, LA Knight. Where is he? LA Knight, remember, distracted Dijak from qualifying for Money in the Bank last month here on Raw, and it looks like he's out to do it again. LA Knight no showing, but enough distraction to turn the tides and cause a tidal wave for Brunson Reed to ride. Here is your winner, I think Dijak thought he was done with the Mega Star, but LA Knight was not gonna take that unfortunate loss back in London. Down and out. Brunson Reed capitalizing on a victory tonight. We want to take you back to last week in London, England on Monday Night Raw, what was supposed to be the in-ring return of one visionary, Seth freaking Rollins. However, things going A-wire, Seth Rollins was met with another return of the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns, who had been laid out weeks prior by the visionary, doing the bidding of the Judgment Day. The history well-documented 
between the Judgment Day and Roman Reigns family and Roman and Rollins have inserted their past into those issues. Roman out to get a pound of flesh last week, a spear to Seth Rollins. Success in that moment, but an unfortunate attack from behind by one World Tag Team Champion, Damian Priest, moments later. The Archer of Infamy watching the back of the Visionary just as Seth Rollins did for the Judgment Day when Roman Reigns tried to come settle the score. Roman Reigns laid out one week ago. The Judgment Day along with Seth Rollins continue to hold dominion over the bloodline and others here on Raw. Nine nights ago in the O2, six women competed in the women's Money in the Bank ladder match. Three from Raw and three from SmackDown, all of them vying for the same end goal of the contract that hung above the squared circle. Chaos, certainly the word to describe the action that we saw from bell to bell. These women trying to tear each other apart, but in the end, it was Monday Night Raw's upstart, Cora Jade, capitalizing on this massive opportunity and taking down the briefcase. Cora Jade set to be back in action in her hometown of Chicago, Illinois next week. She approaches the squared circle in seven nights as the 2024 Women's Money in the Bank contract winner. But there is some bad blood coming out of last week's edition of Raw between the nasty attitude of Piper Niven and one Bailey who is trying to defend the honor of the man. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Ayrshire, Scotland, Piper Niven. Let us rewind the clocks to last Monday night. Becky Lynch one-on-one -on -one with Piper Niven. This issue stemming out of a sneak attack several weeks ago by Piper after Becky Lynch defeated Chelsea Green. Becky Lynch tapping out Piper last week in London. But a celebration twas not to be as Piper Niven dropping the man dead center of the squared circle, not allowing her to soak in the pageantry of that win. Piper Niven no problem putting a target on her back. She may have come up short between the bells, but made an even louder statement outside of them. Well, Bailey, good friend of Becky Lynch, looking to do one good by her fellow Four Horsewomen member. And not only is Bailey stepping up on behalf of Becky Lynch tonight to try to settle this score, but Bailey's got to be itching to get back in the winning ways herself. Scored nothing but victories, was absolutely flawless from All Star Raw back in May all the way up until Money in the Bank, where she suffered a soul crushing defeat against the Nightmare Rhea Ripley in that WWE Women's Championship matchup. We said it then, we'll say it now. Nothing to be ashamed of in defeat. Bailey put up one hell of a fight against the Eradicator of the Judgment Day. But such is life, Rhea Ripley still holds the gold. Bailey has gotta have her mind on the utmost victory here tonight. Well, as we get set for Piper Niven, one on one with Bailey here on Monday Night Raw, we wanna remind you about the action that goes down each and every Wednesday afternoon, only on the No Nation Gaming TikTok. It is Velocity, brought to you by the superstars of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown. Great action that you do not want to miss. Go ahead and scan the QR code and follow over on the No Nation Gaming TikTok. Don't miss out on the action coming your way in 48 hours, courtesy of SmackDown, as Montez Ford, stepping up on behalf of the almighty Bobby Lashley, takes on Austin Theory of A-Town Down Under, who have 
certainly had a loose relationship in recent weeks with the Apex Predator Randy Orton over on SmackDown. Velocity Theory 4 this Wednesday afternoon over on TikTok. Right now we are here in Green Bay on Raw as Bailey goes one-on-one -on -one with Piper Niven. But is it really one-on-one? -on -one? You notice how last week Piper Niven came down to the ring by herself. Came up short against Becky Lynch, tapping out to the disarmer. And now this week, walking down to the ring with her fellow Mean Girls and Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville, who are going to be back in action next week against Katana Chance and Caden Carter. Obviously, the numbers in Piper's corner tonight. Those three women have certainly been hanging out with each other a lot over the last few months. Whether they've helped each other in victory or watched each other fall in defeat. They've had each other's back, and we will see if it's going to benefit Piper and Evan. Notice Sonya Deville in the background trying to expose a turnbuckle. Luckily, Rod Zapata right on top of it. Got to wonder what condition Bailey is in. She's obviously had nine nights to recover, but going through Rhea Ripley in a physical battle inside the squared circle has got to feel like going through a car wreck. Got to wonder if there's any nagging injuries for the former number one contender. All remains to be seen, whether you're hurt or injured, Bailey's going to continue to fight tonight. She wouldn't have took this matchup. She wouldn't have challenged Piper Niven in this matchup if she didn't believe she could take down a dominating force of the Monday Night Raw Women's Division. As we were talking about win, lose, or draw, Piper Niven, her attitude just continued to progress, continued to get worse each and every week. Becky Lynch tapped out Chelsea Green in that... Great American Bash, back at the Great American Bash, and that Money in the Bank qualifier last month, or earlier this month, if we can get our sentence out correctly here. Piper and Ivan arrived on the scene, ambushing Becky Lynch from behind, which of course caused the matchup last week. Piper and Ivan very aggressive, dominating Becky Lynch at times throughout that matchup. Becky was able to score the victory. It was Piper and Ivan who was still standing on her own two feet. You notice Piper getting the hell out of Dodge. Bailey finding herself between a rock and a hard place, and down she goes. And that may be all she wrote. As Bailey, a commendable effort, does not fall short of the finish line just yet. Piper and Ivan thought she had this matchup put away, much to the chagrin of this Green Bay, Wisconsin audience. Piper Niven is still on the attack. And Bailey trying to create some distance here. Saw this matchup flash before her eyes. Moments ago, Bailey to belly on Piper. But Niven still, and powerful kick out at that, still into it. We gotta remember these two women, no strangers to each other. Let me hold that thought, Bailey. Distracted momentarily. Sonya Deville mouthing off at ringside. Meanwhile, Chelsea Green exposing one corner of the ring. Rod Sapata has got his eyes on Piper Niven at ringside, approaching her way back inside the ring. But this is the numbers game that Bailey has to deal with tonight. Gotta wonder what was the mindset of Piper making sure Chelsea and Sonya were out here, opposed to not having her, having them, I should say, in her corner last week. Nonetheless, Bailey dropping Piper momentarily, but can she keep her there? Coming off the top, Bailey not afraid to soar through the skies of Green Bay. And again, it's Chelsea. Look at her She's screaming and yelling at Bailey at ringside, trying to do anything she can to momentarily take Bailey's eye off the ball. There's Piper Niven, gonna take advantage. Stranglehold on the opposer. And a dominating elbow. As we were mentioning a few moments ago, or at least starting to, these two women no strangers to each other. They have mixed it up, whether it be in the midst of tag team action or singles action as well. Over the last few months, Bailey has pinned Piper Niven not once, but twice. Once on Velocity in a singles contest, and once here on Raw, multiple person matchup that was. But forget the past, this is the now. And moments ago, Piper Niven sending Bailey right to the exposed buckle. I don't even know if Rod Zapata realized that that turnbuckle was exposed by Chelsea Green a few moments ago. But nonetheless, Piper Niven looking to take the most advantage of it. Ragdolling Bailey off the top. 
Ratsapata finally fixing up the exposed steel, but it may be too late. The damage may be done. Piper in firm control. Now she's heading up to the top and could be looking to squash Bailey like a fly on a windshield. Bailey down, maybe close to being out. Piper Niven looking for the exclamation point. Bailey trying to commend, or I shall say defend. Becky Lynch here tonight. But the numbers game and the bad attitude, too much to handle. Here is your winner, Piper Next week on Raw in Chicago, Green and DeVille, Mika Katana, Chance, and Caden Carter. The winners move on to Saturday night's main event to contend against a team from SmackDown to crown new women's tag team champions. But as for tonight here on Raw, Piper Niven with a dominating victory in the back half of that contest. Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast-paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way, exclusively, each and every Wednesday, only on the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Raw and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. Competition at an all-time high that you won't see anywhere else. Scan the QR code. Follow on TikTok and don't miss a second of Velocity. Last week on Raw, Mr. Money in the Bank, Braun Breaker, approached the squared circle, set for action for the first time since winning that contract. Unfortunately, action was not to be after a sneak attack from the Harbinger of Doom, carrying Cross. Cross taking issue with Braun Breaker after interfering in his issues with Baron Corbin a few months ago. And then, of course, Breaker knocking Cross out of contention to qualify for Money in the Bank. Let us take you back to the month of May after Braun Breaker had defeated Baron Corbin in the first round of the King of the Ring tournament. Carrie and Cross looked to pick the bones of Braun Breaker's work. Respect between Corbin and Breaker after a heated battle and the badass coming to the aid of one Baron Corbin and looking to take out Carrie and Cross, neutralize him momentarily. Well, these looming issues set to finally come to a head next week. Baron Corbin and Braun Breaker, respect between those two men. And next week, they stand side by side. They have thrown down the challenge to carry and cross. Find a tag team partner and meet us at the battlegrounds next week at Allstate Arena in Chicago on Monday Night Raw. But who is carry and cross going to team up with? We find out in seven nights. And also recently here on Monday Night Raw, a series of battles between Big Bronson Reed and the man who now house the WWE Championship, the best in the world, CM Punk. The matchup going A-wire. The first time around at the Great American Bash, the rematch last week saw Bronson Reed in control for the majority of it, but CM Punk in the end squeaking out the victory. I gotta commend CM Punk answering this challenge thrown out by the big man who was victorious earlier tonight. 
CM Punk returns to his hometown of Chicago, Illinois next week on Raw for one more battle with Big Brunson Reed. You gotta believe Reed is itching for an opportunity. This may be the opportunity that he finally kicks down. Reed Punk one more time next week in Chicago. But it is main event time here in Green Bay on the road to SummerSlam. One half of the World Tag Team Champions, the punishment of the Judgment Day, Damian Priest has arrived on the scene. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day from New York City. Weighing in at 249 pounds. One half of the world tag team champions, Damien Priest. Well, I must say, this is odd to see Damien Priest approaching the squared circle all alone. No backup from the Judgment Day in company, but if we know one thing about the men and women who now house a lot of the gold here on Monday Night Raw is that they always got a trick up their sleeve. The Judgment Day have been out for a hostile takeover for months. They now house the World Tag Team titles, the WWE Women's Championship, and after last week, the Intercontinental title. You can't argue with the results of the Judgment Day. But just because you can't argue with what they have produced does not mean they have done it under the right fashion. Sami Zayn, a casualty of war last week, but looking to right that wrong here tonight. And his opponent from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sami Zayn! Get up, dust yourself off, and continue to fight. That is the, oh wait a minute. The other half of the world tag team champions, the Prince Finn Balor ambushing Sami Zayn from behind. You had to believe there was a plan. Divide and conquer. And in this case, the Judgment Day divided themselves and allowed them to get the up over Sami Zayn. The referee John Cohn luckily sending Finn Balor back to the locker room. Priest and Zayn is on, and Sami Zayn is already fighting an uphill battle. This is the MO of the Judgment Day. Look at the casualties that they have produced over the last few months. I mean, hell, we saw what Damian Priest did last week, coming to the aid of Seth Rollins, doing one good by the Visionary after Rollins aided the Judgment Day neutralizing Roman Reigns in his return to the red brand last month. Damian Priest putting Roman through the announce table, just as he did to Solo Sokoa several months ago. The Judgment Day have taken out that bloodline. Now they're looking to take out Sami Zayn along the way of their takeover of Monday nights. Do not want to get in the way of the Judgment Day or they will make you pay. And now Sami Zayn, who is just looking to get some revenge, as we mentioned, is fighting an uphill battle that I don't know if anybody can climb. Damian Priest in firm control in just the early moments of this Monday Night Raw main event. You hate to see it, but one half of the World Tag Team Champions has not earned the nickname of the punishment of the Judgment Day for nothing. Damian Priest has watched over Dirty Dominic Mysterio in recent months, helped him move on in the King of the Ring tournament back in May and certainly played a huge factor in helping him win the Intercontinental Championship last week in London, England. Sami Zayn, you gotta believe, is still feeling the effects of that matchup. Was busted open during the contest, was met with the exposed turnbuckle pad, the frog splash on top of it. And of course, the heart-wrenching loss of losing his Intercontinental title that he worked so hard to obtain. But Sami Zayn, as we mentioned before, he was ambushed by Finn Balor. Getting himself up, dusting himself off, and getting back into the fight with the Judgment Day. Sami Zayn, just as his best friend Kevin Owens says, they just keep on fighting. Saw last week Kevin Owens eye-to-eye -eye with CM Punk. 
Owens obviously looking to get back his WWE Championship. We'll see what happens next. CM Punk back in action next week in his hometown of Chicago. As for his best friend, Sami Zayn, Sami Zayn fighting his own battles against Damian Priest here tonight. Zayn just trying to find some sustained momentum. But the Archer of Infamy not looking to allow it. Headlock driver could be bringing this matchup to a competent end, not just yet. Zayn able to shake the cobwebs off momentarily, muscling Damian Priest down. Full body leverage, unfortunately not getting the three count. Damian Priest not looking to allow Sami Zayn to rally here in the main event of Raw. Priest certainly satisfied in his work. A victory over Sami Zayn tonight would certainly add another list to the ever-growing list of casualties by hand of the Judgment Day. I'll tell you, a list longer than that is just their list of enemies. Kevin Owens, I would say CM Punk, still an enemy of the Judgment Day. Whether he decided to fight him several weeks ago or not, different story, different time. Priest nearly putting Sami Zayn away. Within inches of another victory, another feather in the cap of the Judgment Day, but Sami Zayn continuing to fight. Damian Priest, however, not giving Zayn any room to breathe. Certainly soaking in the riches and the rewards of his own work. May have taken too much time. Sami Zayn starting to rally. Down goes one half of the World Tag Team Champions. Springboard, Tornado DDT. Zayn used that same maneuver and it busted Dirty Dom open seven nights ago in London. Enough to knock Damian Priest silly momentarily. Priest set to the corner, Zayn's wheels are a spinning and so is Priest, his body off the exploder. Sami Zayn mounting a comeback, but will it lead to a win? Not just yet, Damian Priest is still alive. Damian Priest shaking off the cobwebs at just the last second, but Sami Zayn delivering an emphatic big boot. And Priest is still into it. Zayn getting a quick version of that Haluva kick off. Unfortunately, not the same delivery as it has in the corner. The whiplash effect when the body's up against the turnbuckle. Priest just going flying. Nonetheless, Zayn going flying. Boots leaving the canvas. If this fight is going to break down into a brawl, then so it must. Sami Zayn is out for some revenge tonight, and I am sure he is willing to run through the Judgment Day all by himself, if that's what it means to get back his Intercontinental Championship. Zayn taking out Priest. Damian Priest started off this match. The aggressor had the upper hand thanks to the sneak attack by the other half of the World Tag Team Champions Finn Balor. But Zayn has turned the tables over the last few minutes. Victory not just yet, but certainly momentum on his side. Can he capitalize? On the outside now, Zayn suplexed a Priest right on the floor. Green Bay certainly behind the underdog. Damian Priest in a position that I'm sure he did not plan to find himself in in the midst of this Monday Night Raw main event. Knee right to the temple. And Priest again, wiping Zayn clean off his feet, at least for the moment. Damian Priest, a heavy hitter. Inside of that ring says most of the WWE locker room that has experienced the punishment firsthand. Sami Zayn gonna take it out that time and those couple of maneuvers by Zayn, that fury, that offense may have been a last ditch effort. As we mentioned, Zayn's gotta be feeling the effects of everything that went down last week in London, England. The interference from the Judgment Day, the offense of Dirty Dom, the underhanded tactics. Add that on to what he has felt tonight by hands of Damian Priest and even Finn Balor. And Zayn has got to be feeling way less than 100%. Damian Priest can probably go for a cover right now. Sami Zayn looks to be out. 
Ray's not done just yet. Leveling his man and once again takes the head clean off the shoulders. Priest may be looking to use Sami Zayn as a message to the Monday Night Raw locker room. Get in our way. This is what happens. As if what Priest did to Roman Reigns last week wasn't enough. Damian Priest south of heaven on Sami Zayn. But Sami Zayn's heart is still pumping. And Zayn will not allow another feather in the cap of the black and purple brand. Sami Zayn has got to find a window. There it might be. Going for a big boot. Nobody to be found. Damian Priest from behind off the schoolboy. Trying to steal the victory. Right out from underneath the nose. Not just yet. Zayn's got to find a way. Damian Priest catching him in the line of fire with a second south of heaven. Nothing you can do. One half of the World Tag Team Champions, Damian Priest, once again bringing victory and spoils to the Judgment Day. An unfortunate couple of weeks for the former Intercontinental Champion. seen the Usos since the month of May. Jimmy's been out since vengeance. Jay's been out since he was attacked in the parking garage by Dirty Dom. The Usos are back here on Raw. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, something's going on in the WWE Universe. Solo Sokoa here for the first time since All-Star Raw, and he's making a beeline amongst this capacity crowd to the Intercontinental Champion Dominic Mysterio. The Judgment Day having their numbers evened out by hands of the brothers. Jay and Jimmy taking care of the World Tag Team Champions. And wait, now what? That's Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins at the top of the stage. Green Bay, Wisconsin, the bloodline is in your city and they are coming for their pound of flesh. Seth Rollins and his alliance with the Judgment Day coming back to haunt him. A spear by the Tribal Chief. Meanwhile, Solo and Dom still going at it in the midst of this capacity crowd. The Intercontinental Champion could not have been expecting the arrival of the street champ. Solo Sokoa has been waiting for this moment since All-Star Raw back in May. Dirty Dom laid out on the concrete. Balor and Priest take it out in the ring by Jay and Jimmy. The bloodline are rallying before our very eyes. Wait a minute, I don't think Roman Reigns is done with the visionary. Second spear on the steel grate. Jey Uso, Jimmy Uso. Solo Sokoa and your tribal chief, Roman Reigns, re-emerging tonight on what has been already a hot and heavy road to SummerSlam. The bloodline just taking Monday Night Raw on a dramatic twist. If you'll see.